seven famous people who died during sex. 1. Pope John XII was the opposite of celibate. Everyone knows that popes aren't supposed to have sex. But apparently, John missed the memo. In 963, the Synod of Rome accused him of various offenses. John XII had turned the papal palace into a whorehouse. He'd fornicated with two different widows. He'd fornicated with his father's concubine and his own niece. A year later, John died while having sex. Allegedly, the woman's husband threw John out the window. 2. Nelson Rockefeller's cause of death was covered up. Rockefeller served as vice president to Gerald Ford. Two years later, in 1979, he died of a heart attack. Rockefeller was 70, so it wasn't unusual. What was unusual was how it happened. Nelson was having sex with his 25-year-old secretary, Megan Marshak. Apparently, he died while having an orgasm. Nelson thought he was coming, but he was going. Quick New York Magazine. The family ordered a hasty cremation to avoid further inquiry. 3. Lord Palmerston played his last game of billiard. Palmerston was the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. He fell ill. Before his 81st birthday in 1865, Palmerston's health was otherwise pretty robust. To get better sooner, he had sex with a maid on a billiard table. This didn't help. Already short of breath, Palmerston started choking. He died a short time later, in the presence of his doctor. 4. Felix Faure was killed by his mistress. The French president died in his office in 1899. His body was found with his pants down. Rumors began circulating immediately. Apparently Faure died during oral sex with a mistress. The woman's name, however, was not known. Marguerite Steinheil was identified later. The famous society woman stood trial for murder, but she wasn't charged with killing Faure. The victims were her husband and mother. Steinheil was acquitted when someone else confessed. He turned out to be her new lover and was likewise acquitted. 5. Sir Billy Snedden stole his son's ex. Snedden was the leader of Australia's Liberal Party. In 1987, a motel manager found him dead in a room. Snedden was naked and still wearing a condom. The identity of his partner was a mystery. 19 years later, Snedden's son Drew revealed the truth. His dad had died while making love to Drew's ex-girlfriend Wendy. It was an adrenaline-filled evening, said Drew. I am sure the old man went out happy. Anyone would be proud to die on the job. 6. James McConaughey died a proud death. James was Matthew McConaughey's dad. K. Matthew's mother described it as follows. On Monday mornings, he and I often said goodbye by making love. But one day, all of a sudden, it just happened. I knew that something was wrong because I didn't hear anything from him. But it was just the best way to go. I made sure he was naked when they took him because I was just so proud to show off my big old Jim McConaughey and his gift. Matthew's comment echoes her sentiment. I can't think of a better way to go. My dad always said to me, boy, when I get out of here, I bet you, I'll be making love to your mother. 7. Jimmy the Beard accidentally killed himself. Jimmy, aka James Ferrozo, was a bouncer at the Condor Club. It's the best known topless club in San Francisco. 40-year-old Jimmy was dating 20-year-old Teresa Hill. She was an exotic dancer at the Condor. The couple decided to have sex on the famous Condor piano. The piano was rigged to descend from above. It was used for Carol Dota's stripper act. Jimmy and Teresa lay on top of the instrument. At some point, the elevator mechanism was triggered. It trapped Jimmy between Hill and the ceiling. He was crushed to death 